Hey guys, welcome to Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this crazy 3D rotation effect without the use of any line of CSS code with the Elemental Free version and also the Elemental Pro version with the use of CSS code. So at the end of this tutorial, I will to create something that looks like this. So when you hover, you get this. And you hover on the Pepsi, you can have this. And you hover on the Coca-Cola, you have this effect as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. Before we get started creating our crazy 3D rotation effect using the Elemental Free version and also the Elemental Pro version, I'm going to walk you through on how to go about getting the resources needed to create this effect for free. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to freepick.com, okay, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to search for empty soda can, and then we're going to search for this. I'm going to have a lot of options. You can make use of this option. You can even make use of this one as well. So, well, however, we're going to make it, and there are also some premium versions here, but we're going to make use of a free version. So, we're going to make use of this one here. So, we're just going to click on it, and then we're going to come over here to click on this remove background option and then allow for it to load. It's going to automatically remove the background from this image, and we can download it. Okay, so now that I've done that, we're going to download the PNG. Right, we've downloaded it. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is um, we're going to come over to our, to Pinterest. And then in Pinterest now, this is where we're going to get the wrapper for our um, can, for our soda can. Okay, so we're just going to come over here in Pinterest and then we're going to search for soda can wrapper template i'm going to search so it will give us a lot of results so these are the, this is the first result we're going to download we're just going to come over here and we're going to download this okay and we're going to go back i'm going to download the one for pepsi as well and we're going to download it as well and we can also go back and search around for other beverages we may want to use for our project you can see there are a series of options here that we can use okay like you can see the cool aid here now click on this you can download this cool aid as well uh, you can see other options here i think i like this cherry flavor so we can just come over here we can download this and then there is dr pepper as well we can also come over and download this so we have enough and you can see other other brands other options of um so that can wrap us that you can make use of here so depending on whatever one you want to make use of you can even create one from scratch if you're good with graphics and all that okay so Lando we've done this the next thing we're going to do is we just come over here to a download history and this is the first one we downloaded which is the empty soda can so i'm just going to drag it to a photoshop and then i'm going to paste it here on photoshop and that what I'm going to do here is all this the um, spaces around it, I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to crop it. So to do so, just come over here and crop it. Okay. And you can use any other tool to achieve this effect. Now we'll crop it this way and we'll come over here to the image, click on crop. And now we can export it. So now we are done. We've gotten all the resources we needed. So let's head back. And now let's come over to our Elemental editing screen, okay? So we're currently making use of the Elemental free version, as you can see here, access all pro widgets, and even here as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna select the flexbox content, and we're gonna select the structure here. Now we're gonna come over to the content, we set it to full width, and then for the minimal height, change the uniform pixel to VH, and then give it the value of 100. Head over to the style option, change the background color to black, and then we're going to go back to the layout, just put item to the center and align item to the center as well. Now we're going to come over here, drag a container and drop it here. Now for this container, we're going to set the content with the full width. Now we're going to also add another container within this container here. So we just drag it and drop it here. Now for this outer container, this one here, we're going to make sure we align item to the center. And then for the direction row, we're going to set it row horizontal and just fire items content to the center as well. Now for the inner container here, this one, we're gonna come over here to the content width, we're gonna set the width to 
the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna come over here to the style option and then we're gonna go to the background and we're gonna set a background image now we're gonna select this container here this um can image we've edited and then we're gonna add it here okay and then we're gonna come over here to the position we're gonna set the position to the center center and then repeat we're gonna set it to no repeat okay and then for the display size we're gonna set it to contain okay now we've done that we're gonna come back here to the layout and then for the minimal height we're gonna change the unit from pixel to vh and give it a value of 60 vh and we'll now have this full container displayed here okay so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our wrapper to it so to do so we're gonna come over here still on this container we're gonna go to the style option and then we're gonna come over to the background overlay now for the uh, no, on the normal state we're gonna come over here set it classic and then we're gonna add an image to it okay so we're gonna start with uh the coca-cola and then we're gonna select it now we're gonna come over here to the position we're gonna set the position to center left okay and then we're gonna come over to the repeat we're gonna set the repeat to no repeat and then to the display size we're gonna set it to cover okay and then we're gonna come over here for the opacity we're gonna set the opacity value to one okay so we'll now have this okay so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna come over here to the blend mode and then we're gonna set the blend mode to multiply okay now this is what we'll have here as you can see okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here but before we do that let's come over here let's change the position here to center right let's change it to center right so we'll have our coca-cola showing in front okay so the next thing we're gonna do we'll go to the hover effect and we're gonna add a background image we're gonna select the same image here this image and then we're gonna come over here for the positioning we're gonna set the position to center left okay and then for the repeat we're gonna set it to no repeat uh, the display size we're gonna set it to color and for the opacity we're gonna set the opacity to one okay so now we'll come over like this now have our wonderful effect a wonderful 3d effect as you can see okay now we can also come over here and then we can add a transition duration we can set the transition duration to like five seconds slow the effect or we we'll can take it up to like uh, 20 seconds slow it and then we can just set it to one it's not fast okay so it depends on how how speedy you want your effect to to work but this is it now we'll be able to achieve this wonderful 3d rotation effect without the use of any line of CSS code in with our elemental free version now we're going to head over and I'm going to show you how to achieve it with the Elemental Pro version with more features added to this 3D effect that makes it look more wonderful. So we're now working with the Elemental Pro. As you can see, there is no more notification here to uh, upgrade to access all widgets. So let's proceed. Come over here and let's select the Flexbox content and let's select the structure here. And let's come over to the content weight and then we'll set it to full weight. And then for the minimal height, we're going to change the unit to VH. And give it a value of 100. Now we're going to come over here, justify content to the center, align item to the center as well. Then we'll head over to the style option. And then for the background, we're going to give it a background color of black. Okay. Now that we're done, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here and we're going to draw the front and draw for share. Now for this content, we're going to set it to content full width. And then we're going to set the direction to row horizontal. And then we're going to come over here align item to the center okay now we're going to come over here and add another container within it let's drag and drop this container here now for this container here we're going to set the width to 20 percent okay and then we're going to come over here to uh this here we're going to call this one inner container and then we're going to call this one here uh car okay all right, so now for the inner container, we're going to come over and then let's justify item to the center. All right, and then let's come over to the can. Now for the can, we're going to go to the style option. For the background, we're going to set the background image to be our empty can. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to come over here, position it to the center, center, 
and then set the repeat to no repeat for the display size we're gonna set it to over so unlike what we did unlike what we did for our we we're making use of the free version here we're gonna make use of code to achieve what we want and i'm gonna explain to you the reason why so let's come over here to the advanced settings and then we'll head over to the custom css i'm gonna make use of this line of css code which is the aspect ratio now the reason we're making use of the aspect ratio is we can easily we can just comment this out let's comment this out and then let's come over here and uh, just like we did when we we're making use of the free version we we'll set it to vh and then give it a value of 65 and we still have the same effect here but you can see what we are getting here we need to come over here now and then we just have to set it from cover to contain in order to get what we want this shape we want okay so we can either choose to use this or we can still make use of what we already have going on for us which is our aspect ratio which is a css code in the case of the aspect ratio because it helps us when we're working with the responsiveness of this particular um container uh, this particular can and uh, other effects we can be adding along the line it's going to be straightforward situation we won't be having uh, any glitch or difficulties okay so let's just make use of our aspect ratio okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do we're going to come over here to the style option and then like we did before we'll go to the background overlay uh, we've got for the normal we're going to add our background to it a background image so we're going to select the coca-cola and then for the coca-cola we're going to come over to the position we're going to set the position to center right so so that we can have this here and then we're going to come over here to the repeat set the repeat to no repeat for the display size we're going to set it to cover and then for the opacity we're going to set the opacity to one okay so we now have something that looks like this okay now we're going to come over here to the blend mode and then we're going to set the blend mode to multiply and we now have this effect here like what we did when we were working with the uh, free version but we won't be stopping here we're going to make use of a code to max our can this image to our can for better results now the reason for that is if we should come over here and here let's say we want to add a transform effect to this let's say come over to the cover i will want to scale this up a little bit you see we're going to have a problem you see you can see this is the problem we're gonna have here but uh, let's increase it up uh, so we're gonna have a problem you can see now that we longer have this perfect can here anymore okay so let's just come over here and let's go back and then i'll show you why we need a, a max 10 effect code in order to add other features to this so we're just gonna come over here and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here and add a max skin image. We're going to max our image. So to do so, we're just going to add our URL here. And then let's close this. So let's close this. All right. So we're now going to come over here and add our can empty can URL here. So let's go over here and let's copy the URL for this and then let's come back here to our advanced settings come over to this custom css mind you custom css is only available for elementor pro and then um there will be a link in the description of this video where you can purchase elementor pro and also this code here will also be pinned to the first comment on this video on youtube so you can access it and just copy it and paste it out and replace this url this section here with your own empty can url and you have a perfect result like what we have here now so as you can see the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our 3d rotating effect here so to do so just like we did while we're working with the while we're working with the free version we're just going to come over to the style option here and then we'll go to the background overlay now for the hover we're going to come over here set it to uh, classic and then we'll set the image the same coca-cola image here but this time around we're going to set the position to be well in the normal state it was center right so in the hover state we're going to set it to be center left and then for the repeat set it to no repeat display size we're going to set it to cover and then for the opacity we're going to set it to one okay so now we'll come over here we'll now have 
this wonderful effect. Now, as you can see, our solar can is very, very big. And in order for us, if you want to reduce the size, it's easy for you to do so. So I'm just going to come over to this inner container here and that we're going to reduce the width here. So as you reduce the width, the size of the can reduces as well. So you reduce it. So let's say we reduce it to 70%. Okay, the reason we are having this shrunky effect is uh, because in our can you remember we added a minimum height here. So we're just gonna remove this and we can see we now have it the size reduced here. Okay, so now the next thing we can do here is we can just come over here and let's duplicate this can. But before we do that, let's add some effects to our can here. So now let's come over to the advanced settings and let's go over to the transform effect. Now for the hover, we can come over here and add an offset value for the hover. On the offset Y, we can set, give it a value of minus 60 pixel. So now when you hover, you now have this effect, like two, which is a wonderful effect. And then we can just come over here now and we can duplicate this card here and uh, duplicate it again. Now for this one here, the middle card, we can come over here, go to the style option. Come over to the background overlay and select another soda can wrapper. Uh, this time we can select Pepsi. Okay, and then for the position, we're gonna set the position to for the normal state, we're gonna set it to center left, and then for the hover, we're gonna set it to center right. So when you hover, uh now let's set the same image here. And so when you hover, you now have this wonderful effect. Now let's come over to the third can. Now for the third can, we can come away and select uh, another wrapper. We have so many here. We can select uh, Dr. Pepe. And then we set the center right. Let's change it to center left. And then we'll go to the hover effect and then we'll select the image again. And then we're going to come away and select the position to center right. So now we now have these three cans here, this, okay, and you have this effect, you have this effect. You can still go further to add some more transform effect to spice this up a little bit. So to do so, what we're going to do is for the Coca-Cola, that's the first can here, we're going to come over here and then we're going to go to the transform effect for the hover. We can come and add a rotating effect, set it to minus 20, okay. And then so when you hover, you now have this effect. And then we're going to come to the Dr. Pepe and we're going to add the same effect to it. Come over to the transform over and then we'll add rotation and we'll give it a value of 20 as well. So we now have this effect. So when you hover the Dr. Pepe, you hover on the Pepsi, you do straight Coca-Cola, you have this tilting effect. All right, so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next we drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment whenever you're confused and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, bye-bye.